this. Like, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you, if you start a business, you, and you document all the parts and process of starting that business, my dude, you gon' sure you gonna blow up. Right. So ain't nobody doing yeah. it. When you find a one you love, gotta make sure that you love them right. Yeah. When you find a one you love, I got a girl that compliments my fly. And when it goes down, I know she gon' ride. I finally got somebody I can call my What is going on, people? Welcome to Every Man's Millionaire. We, we're, we're getting ready to change up the programming. Today we're going to talk about why you should chase problems and comfort versus chasing money. I see it all the time. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm about that billionaire lifestyle. And I'll ask that question, how are you going to do it? Law of attraction. Well, I'll figure it out. I got get, I'm getting that mindset together, G. I understand. Getting the mindset together, law of attraction, you're doing something, congratulations. What are you actually doing to make the wheels turn? Do you have a business? Are you selling something? What are you doing? And this is where I start to get into the weeds. When I ask these questions, people think that I'm being mean or I'm trying to belittle them. But I know from experience, that unless you have some kind of mechanism, a business, a program, sales, something that these dreams, these big money mindsets, they're never gonna happen. Today, I was out looking at a house and I'm gonna talk about that a little later. I am going to do what I wanna do, but I have to do some things that I don't wanna do. This is the situation I find myself into, but I'll talk about it once one of the deals falls through, because if the deal doesn't fall through, there ain't no point in talking about it. But I've looked at literally 80 houses this week. No results. Nothing's happened. Put out a deal. Someone was putting in the contract before I got my contract in by like three hours. I know if I keep doing this activity, I will get the results I want. And this, this, is, this is where we have problems. The activity level, it ain't there. Many people, it just ain't there. You, you've got folks who want to have the ability to do so many things. They don't have any activity level. I'll give you an example. There are some of you who want to do a YouTube channel. You saw me doing it. You're just like, hey, he can do it. I can do it too. Cool. But it's been two, three, four. You ain't made one video. As long as the activity levels are incongruent with the dream, the dream will remain just a dream. Like that song by The Barge, a dream, just a simple fantasy. And I don't want you guys to be fooling yourself, playing around. I want you to up your activity level. I want you to become more practical. I want you to become technicians because let's talk about Instagram TV. Uh, it, it's purportedly a game changer. There are many people talking about it. And for some people, it will be. But newsflash, as the white people say, the people who are already on Instagram, who already have a high level of activity, will be the ones who are going to realize the gains. All kind of gains, all kind of gains, going for those gains. That's who's gonna get the gains. The folks who are already in the game are gonna get the gains. I have no doubt that, you know, Instagram TV is gonna be something, but me at 1,231 followers, and as someone who used to put in literally an hour a day on Instagram, doing stuff, searching stuff, I realized this was not the path that I wanted to take it. Now, once again, if you have no established internet platform, knock yourself out. But if you have an established internet platform and you go to some place you don't know, you're diluting your efforts. Talk about Hustlers Kung Fu. Uh, I decided I'm killing Hustlers Kung Fu. I don't have a lot of time and to take whatever time per day 
to go up there and grow that channel and put stuff with content that people enjoy when they come across it. But because then I have to create more content for Hustlers Kung Fu, which is not something that I, I, I really want to do. I did it for eight years. I, I don't really want to create any more hustling type content. So I'm not. So that channel, I'm just going to let it fade off into oblivion. And I'm not even going to worry about it. I may repurpose it and turn it into something else. But that type of hustling stuff, there's plenty of videos. Just go to the beginning of the channel, you know, the video section. Go to the beginning. Just start watching if that's what you want. I'm not going to remove them, which I thought, which kind of hurts me. I'm going to leave them there. And then we're going to move out. Now, all these decisions are not based upon how I feel. It ain't hitting me up in the fields. It's based upon research. Once again, activity, activity. I have a very high activity level. I'm going to tell you something. And I want you guys to hear me and hear me well. If you double your activity level, you're going to probably triple or quadruple the results you get in your life. If you just double your activity level. Now, if you triple your activity level, oh my God. Now you 5X your activity level, you're gonna start seeing a lot of action fast. Uh, a lot of action really, really fast. Now, if you 10X it, you could probably become a millionaire in a year. That's the, act see, the money's in the activity levels. The money's not in the dream. The money's not in the business card. The money isn't in all these wonderful Instagram quotes. The money is in the activity. And many of you just don't have activity levels that are congruent with your dreams, ambitions. They're just not. And you know, I, I know, I know the hustler porn is calling you only for $2.99, $3.99, 400 bucks. You can get this course and you can become an FBA millionaire or you can become an Instagram genius or you can become a YouTube star. I'm gonna say some, if you buy those courses and your activity level is in line with what it needs to be, absolutely, these things can happen. But most people, their activity level, mm, mm So that's something you gotta work on. I want you guys to understand. I want you to be successful. But see, me wanting you to be successful, me creating products for you to be successful, me giving away stuff for free that will make you successful means nothing without an activity level. Not a thing, it, it just ain't gonna work out. But people are still caught up in what I call a facade. They look good, they sound good, they say the right things on Facebook, they say the right things on Instagram, they say the right things, their activity level ain't where it needs to be because it is easy to post stuff on Facebook. It's very easy to post stuff on Instagram. It's easy to post up motivational videos on YouTube. I have so many people who's like, look, Glendon, you going to blow up if you do this. Like, <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me tell you, if you start a business, you, and you document all the parts and process of starting that business, my dude, you gon' you gonna blow up. Cause ain't nobody doing this. Actually, there are thousands of people doing this. There's literally everyone's doing this. They're filming the process, they're talking about their podcast, they're talking about their YouTube channel. The reason I have people coming after me to do that is I've done it before. See, a lot of these folks who are documenting their process, the end of their journey is not going to look so good because they don't know what they're doing. This is why you document because you can look back and go like, oh man, I was foolish back then. But see me, okay, that'll be some real stuff. And I, I have so many, um, I ain't going to spend any money with you Allens who just like want to bleed me for the best of the best of the best of the best Sir, information, you know what's funny? They still ain't going to do anything. They're still not going to, all right, you can go off. They're still not going to take action. They're still not going to put in action. They're still not going to work. Ain't going to do it. 
And whenever I do a video like this, some smart person will go down like, hey, you know, he's just cussing us out and telling us bad stuff. I want to watch something that's going to make me feel good. I want to watch. Yeah, yeah, speed up to this part of the video. I see any of those little comments, I'm deleting them. Because you need to hear this. I had to hear it. There was a point in my life, big dreams, I'm going to do this. I tell everybody. I was just full of confidence. Then I had a close friend say, look, if you really going to do this, you need to be busy. You need to be working seven days a week. You need to be working 12, 20 hours a day. Because, see, I was only working four or five hours, which was still more than most of you. I was like, huh, you're right. So I raised my activity level, and oh my God, things started to happen. Now, one of the common excuses is, I don't know what to do. I hear that all the time. I'm ready, I am willing, I just, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know where I'm at, I don't, I don't know what to start. When I give you that advice, this is what I hear. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 good. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, that, that's cool for you, but I don't want to do that. I want to do something else. And to that, I was like, well, that's, you're entitled. That's your right. But that's all I got. This is what I actually did to get to where I'm at today. I can't give you something. Like I said, I got a lot of people who's like, hey, man, we talk about stocks and bonds. I don't have any stocks and bonds. Why am I going to talk about it? That makes no sense. I personally believe that if you don't have some solid discipline and start at maybe age 25 and start putting in 100 bucks a month in the market, and then when you're 28, you're putting 500 bucks to the point where you're in your 30s and you're putting like two or three grand in the market, I, I don't really think it's going to work out for you. But that's just me. It's just me. But what I do know is how to sell. What I do know is how to market. What I do know is how to make YouTube videos. So that's what I do. So once again, the content of this channel is going to change quite a bit. I know some of you are going to leave and I bid you I do. No, no love loss. I still, still love you. But I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, I've been trying to do what I think y'all want to do. That ain't really worked out the way that I want it. I mean, I made money, but I, I'm not making the money that I used to make. I'm not making the money that I want to make, and I'm not making the money that I am capable of making. So what that means is I'm doing something wrong, and we got to change that because activity levels, demographics, and the messaging. See, I got caught up in live streaming. If you notice, I've cut way back on the live streaming. And there's a reason because my activity levels were down even though I was live streaming every day. It is much harder to do a recorded video than it is to do a live stream. A live stream is more of an endurance thing, you know, turn it on and just talk. But when you're doing the video, you, you got to plan your subject. You got to edit it. You got to upload it. You got to make sure that it's in sequence and stuff. So I'm upping my activity level by doing more regular videos. There's some of you who want to, to more information on the new training. So I'm about to give it to you. There's going to be three levels. It's $3,000. One time fee. We talk. What's going to happen, and this is where we, we need to be, is you already have a business or you have a hustle and you're doing some stuff. So what we're going to do is look at your hustle. See, because I, I get a lot of people who's like, look, Linda, just give me one minute or, or, or two minutes or, or three minutes. I used to do that. You know what? It always turns into 15, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one more, qu one more question. And you know what? I don't fought them. It was me. If I'm going to act like a $2 hooker, you're going to treat me like a $2 hooker. Because that's what I'm acting like. Well, I'm a call boy now. Not call girl. See? You get it? You get it? But 
I need people who are serious. And the only way that I have found out that for people to be serious is if they have to pay a lot of money. The more money they pay, the more serious they are. And I need to work with serious people. I don't need to, because see, I've had many of those conversations. And you know, uh, just to let you know, that old phone number, I changed it. It's gone, because you'll see it on YouTube channel, and you know, people will call and ask all kinds of questions. It's gone. I followed up with some of these people, because I had all the numbers. Yeah, man, I really appreciate you talking to me, man. No, I ain't done nothing with the information. I'm still trying to shape stuff up. And I, I, I got this, I was like, oh, well, be good, man, be good. Unless I force you or you are forced by the heavy investment, most of you ain't gonna do nothing. So, oh, let me tell you a story, and Ty, Ty told me this. That people who bought the amazing selling machine was like $8,000. They bought it, they did a few modules, and they didn't do anything else. And they spent eight grand. Now, the people that I was charging, you know, 30, 50,000 a month last year, every one of them took action. <laughs> every last one of them took action. Every last one of them is significantly grew their business. And I'm like, is that what it takes? Wow, if that's what it takes, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is how it goes. You come in at the $3,000 level, you buy the never broke action pack, and you go through these courses, you start doing some stuff, and then we're gonna get on the phone, we're gonna talk about your business. We're not going to talk about what you should be doing because, see, this is the trap. I don't know what to do. Google, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, There's so many ways that you can research this and get this thing started for little or no money. So if you're asking me, uh, what should I do? That means you're not serious. Don't hate you. Still got much love for you, but you ain't serious. So once again, the consulting package is for serious people. Now, $3,000, we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna get on the phone with you and I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. But the thing is, you, you, you gotta have a clue to what you wanna do. And if you wanna talk to me and you don't know what you wanna do, it's gonna be $6,000, yep. I'm going to actually put that in one of the options for uh, the Never Broke Action Pack. And it's going to be titled, I don't know what the, what the hell I need to do, Glenda. It's going to be six grand. So you can do all that work yourself and save yourself $3,000. How's about that? Now, part of the thing is, if you do create, because we're going to deal with sales, sales and marketing. Now, I'm not messing around with Facebook ads. Why don't I mess with, I don't do Facebook ads. Once again, you're not gonna get anything from me that I'm not currently doing in my business. You know, we're gonna learn how to get referrals. We're gonna learn how to put up a sales process. There's a sales program, and part of the sales program is the sales process. I got formally trained at Renacrate on how to put these things together, and I've used it in every business that I've had. Let's take the upscale garage sale. I had an email list. I had people come in. Now, it wasn't enough just to have the, you know, hey, they check out. And it's like, hey, um, you can get on this email. No, 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 no. Same language that they use now at Home Depot, Lowe's. What is your phone number? I was like, hey, how you doing? Thanks for checking out. Do me a favor. Put your email address on this list. I was doing that like 2003. Email list back then had open rate 70, 80%. So we're gonna talk about email, cause email ain't dead, it ain't even close to dead. We're gonna talk about you getting on the phone and talking to people, sales scripts and all this other stuff. Because essentially I'm gonna teach you how to be a sales person. Once again, you, 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 you gotta do the work. There is no results without the work. What's that song? There ain't no romance without finance. Well, there ain't no finance without romance. You gotta romanticize this sales, you got to make love to the sales process. You got to get over your fear of the phone. You got to get over your fear of someone telling you no. You got to let all that stuff go. But I'm going to work with you. And then once I get enough of you, I'm going to create a separate Facebook group for you guys to interact. Because everybody in there will have paid the $3,000 or $6,000 and I'll build this group and it'll be real small in the beginning 
and everybody in there will be real serious. That's one of the things. Um, because essentially, many people are looking for templates. Part of the problem with a template is everyone doesn't learn the same way. So you can have someone over here who takes the template and has amazing results. Then you can have this person and this person and their results are kind of like, ah. And as part of it, everyone doesn't learn the same way. This is something I've learned by you know, consulting and giving courses out all these years. So that's what, one of the things we're going to yeah, do. Yeah. When you find her when you love, got to make sure that you love them right. All right, what's going on, people? It's a little different. What I want to talk about is building businesses correctly. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to turn that down. There we go. And this is what the new consulting program is going to be about. I got a lot of people who want to talk to me to kind of test their ideas, fill out this stuff. That's just not really a productive use of time because uh, what I want you to do is to go to Google and figure out what you want to do. Let's see. Hold on a second. Make sure it is. Uh, shouldn't be too many. All right, Justin, thanks for the seven bucks. Yeah, I figured a lot of people would be um, a little disappointed, but it's time. What I'm going to bring, well, let's just talk about the future content. I want to bring bigger, bolder, deafer stuff and Part of it, the thing is with the hustle stuff, all right? I mean, 30 days to 2,500 will get you, even if you're just really unskilled, 500 bucks a month. That's five Gs. That's like $6,000 a month. And I've talked about that stuff. And what I want to do is something more exciting. That's, that's me. I want to do something way more exciting, uh, more fun, and you know, kind of take y'all along the journey. Like, um, strictly online businesses except for the real estate. And everything's going to be an online business model. Like what I did with Disruptive Mail. That's just really starting. That, that, I, I, I feel that I have to do some things over again for people to understand and appreciate the hustle, appreciate the game, appreciate the things that we're going to do here, because here's what I think is going to happen with the internet. I believe that there will be more internet businesses than ever before. There'll be new internet models. And you're going to have some kid in high school who's going to launch a company one to two years, he's still in high school, he's about to graduate, and he's got a 10, 20 million dollar company because of the internet. And it's like, I'm I'm not gonna let all these high school kids have all the fun. It ain't happening. <laughs> we ain't going out like that. So that's part of it. Another thing, and once again, like on last one, I want everybody to super chat five bucks or more during the stream because I'm gonna drop some serious game. I want all of us to get better. See, what I want to do is start a Facebook group where everybody in it has a business. And this isn't to throw shade against no one that have a business, but I've been in those groups where everyone has a business. Everyone's, the energy level is just different. It's just very, very different. It's more helpful. So that's one of the things I want to create. And I got to have people that I know are doing businesses. Like one of the reasons that you've seen Ty three times is I know that he's bona fide and he's legit. Uh, Alpha M, he's bona fide and legit. I got a whole group of YouTube friends I could bring on, but to bring them on this channel, when y'all are looking for hustle stuff, um, it ain't going to really work. It's just not going to work. 
because you know I brought Nick on and that video just did not perform well and it's not because Nick doesn't know what he's doing far from it it's just that people here are interested in a certain kind of business content and I'm going to actually raise the bar since this channel's taken a hit it seems to have survived because I haven't used paid traffic on it in well over seven months and it seems to be correcting because I'm seeing that all of a sudden I'm getting comments on older videos that wasn't happening before so I think the channel has reset we'll see if it takes a full year or not but I'm going to create more compelling content case studies because there's a lot of people out there like I referenced in the stream they're scared they're scared of failure they're scared of losing money I get it but that's not going to help people who are not scared, who are willing to spend some money, who are willing to take some risk. So the content's going to be more geared for them. And I'm just like I said, I'm going to leave the storage auction stuff alone. You can go back and watch that until your heart falls out. But I'm not going to do any more of that kind of content because it's it's like deja vu. When I started. Oh, crap. I forgot to put that under there. Uh, I'll actually do that now. When I started this channel, I was still in the storage auction business, right? Well, I'm no longer in the storage auction business. I have been <laughs> full-time YouTuber. Very soon will be uh, nine years. And... I need to go because I, I just see that's where the world's going. I just see that's where the content is going to be. And that's where I'm going to be. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. And we're going to have big fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. Because it is the future. And also I want to work more one-on-one -on -one with certain people who are really you know trying to do some stuff because one of the things that i've realized is people if you allow this i should say if you allow it if you don't allow it, it doesn't happen they're essentially trying to dictate my experience and what people should pay based upon what their pockets look like that <laughs> That doesn't, um, it doesn't really bode well for me. Not at all. And I'm getting ready to make some big changes with that. Some very big changes. So right now, I'm getting rid of all of this stuff here. I don't even know if this is going to fit. Okay, it fits. And... I'm going to do this. So below the video, it will be in a second. Because it's something I forgot to do. All right. Uh, we're going to be talking about this. Let me make sure that I don't miss anybody. All right. Okay. That should be good. And yeah, it's under there. Let's see. Uh, Filthy Rich, how long did it take to work out the kinks in the furniture business? I did not work out the kinks. I quit the furniture business and got into storage auctions. I didn't like the business model. I did it because I was exposed to it. I knew how to do it. And it was the most money I ever made in my life until I got in the storage business. Uh, Christian, that's my goal. 3,000 to 6,000 stack club. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, JP, I am building a course for engineers as part of my businesses, but it will take forever. What are your suggestions? I would not build that course by myself i would actually engage some engineers and make sure that while you're building it they're actually taking it that, that was a, that was worth 150 dollars super chat right there 
Manny, Glendon changed my life five years ago. Glad to hear it. Justin, I've been MGTOW for years. Disruptive males, the new MGTOW. Wow. That, that is wild. Yeah, because the thing is, uh, let's talk about the All Business Group. There's so many people that I've talked to over the years who want to do some stuff. I, I get it. You want to do some stuff. You're scared. You want someone to hold your hand. I can't hold everyone's hand for free. <laughs> that's just not going to work. And that's what happens. And even more so from the great experiment, which I learned a lot, that when you give people stuff for free, they just don't respect it. You just don't. It's just human nature, I suppose. Um, not so much a mastermind setup. Masterminds, I've been part of those. They're usually eight, maybe 20 people. Well, maybe because this is going to be what I'm going to do is a rolling calendar. We'll get the first group of people in. Then once they're done, then we'll have more people come in. So it's going to be short term consulting. It won't be the long term concern that I did unless people want to pay 50 G's a month or even more. Depend well, it's actually more because when we get in that, that 50 G's will be me. And then they will have to pay for the paid traffic and all this other stuff. What's up, Everlasting Glow? Thank you, Richard Mayfield. Our changer, you have given us everything we need to get started at this point. They can go back to the old stuff. Now they're going to have to catch up. <laughs> Take action growing. Oh, that's how I feel. I think that's a valid point. Is there a link for super? Oh, yeah. Uh, the dollar sign. Once again, dollar signs back there. Uh, and also, actually, I took that link down because I replaced it with, you know, I'm going to go over that in a minute. All right, so let's let's kind of talk about this. And actually, we're going to raise the ante. We're going to go We're going to go 10 bucks here. All right. So this is just a breakdown. If you got any questions, just go ahead and uh, hit me over the head. All right. So I'm going to read this uh, disruptive money consultant service. I'm going to start one on one consultant services again. These services are designed for business owners or people who make over 90 K a year. I have many of you seeking ways to get in contact with me. Thanks for the love. This is how we're going to do it. First of all, it will be structured and measured. What does this mean? We will measure where you are, then increase your pace and results. So the first part about this is where are you? What are you doing? How much money are you making? Then I'm going to look at your business, business model, and find all of the leakage. Every business is leaking money somewhere. Some businesses do a good job to keep the linkage to a minimum. And some people, if they were, if it was their heart, they'd be dead already because they're leaking so much blood. There's so many ways that money will just disappear out your business if you're not on top of it. Uh, one of the things I did earlier this year was I got rid of an office. I got rid of some employees and it pared myself down because the new direction I was going in, I was going to need new employees with new skill sets. And it, it was just going to be too hard to try to convert people to something, especially what I was paying them. In any event, we'll follow the first mandate. The first mandate is every man must have his own business or a serious strong side hustle minimum four figures per month without economics you have no voice earning money outside of a job is not a nice thing to have it is a primary imperative for you to be and act like the man you were meant to be the unemployment rate of men is beginning to climb many traditional male jobs are gone and they're not coming back now the service is offered this is what's going to be disruptive because someone asked about this over at uh, disruptive mail disruptive estate planning so let's talk about that. I don't ever plan on, quote, having a traditional retirement. So my estate planning isn't to, quote, get a gang of money in the stock market, hope the stock market doesn't crash. That's just 
very frightening to me. I had a lot of money in the market and I did okay. I didn't do killer well, but I kept looking at the reason I had so much money in the market was that I was putting it in there and I was like, well, why don't I just grow this? Why don't I just make more businesses? So what we're going to do with the disruptive estate plan is uh, there will be no stocks and bonds. Uh, I'm not doing that. So I'm not going to try to teach you how to do something I'm not doing. That's crazy. But we're going to be talking about creating long term business models. Uh, these models can be really cheap to start. And the key is is to build these businesses year after year and to stay out of debt. <laughs> this is what kills so many of these corporations. Uh, disruptive online business development. We'll be talking about how to use online marketing and advertising to grow your business or to start a business. Um, online marketing with uh, video, YouTube only, channel development, and disruptive sales and marketing processes, disruptive legal business structure, disruptive game haha -ha. so essentially what we're going to do is talk about how to make money how to create a business how to build marketing assets how to start a business that makes money for a long time. And the good thing about this is you can start small and grow this over years. One of the big problems that we have with people is this, I want to grow a business really quick, quit my job, live off the business income, have a lot of free time. Now there's lifestyle businesses you can do that on. You can do that with a YouTube channel. You can do that with an Instagram channel. But the thing is, it's going to get harder and harder since so many people are being competitive online. So we're going to be talking about sales and marketing mostly because, or you can call it customer acquisition. Every business needs a way to grab more business owners. Everyone needs a way to get more customers, be more successful, and keep customers coming in. So that's going to be a heavy, heavy focus on this disruptive money consultant, like how to get customers. One of the things that happens online is you have people who are trying to monetize things that don't give value to other people. You'll see someone with a YouTube channel, they're making videos, they're getting a lot of money and you're like, hey, I want to do that. I, I want to do that without asking for the money. I want to do that without putting out, I want to do that with minimum effort. We're not, we're not going to talk about that stuff because one of the big problems with making money online is people underestimate how much effort goes into it <laughs> a lot of effort goes into making money setting up your email setting up email campaigns setting up call a lot of work goes into it and that's why i laugh when people are just like hey i'm going to um try to do x y and z on this and it just doesn't work out so let's see make sure we have that All right, uh, let me go back. Uh, what's up, J.R. Kelly? Richard Mayfield, thanks for the $10 super chat. Christian Amerson, that's funny. That's cool, Justin. John Smith, thanks for the five bucks. All right, so... Uh, Someone said there was too many offers. I just saw the email. My offer was declined. And let's actually, this is going to be something that I'm going to teach. Now, one of the things that happens when you place offers, if you place very fair offers that are fair to you and fair to other people, 
often people don't go with that. <laughs> people kind of want you to bleed. So I put out, you know, I spelled out some stuff. And uh, let me see. I just got, you know, after talking to my husband, it's funny. So this is why I got to put in this. This is really a good point because someone's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to probably put out three or four more offers tomorrow because it's kind of like getting chicks. Most of you don't do well with women because you don't deal with enough women. And many people think like, OK, um, if I talk to 50 women and I get one, that's horrible. So what you do is you stop talking to 50 women, then it really gets bad. But see, this is what happens. And this is what we're going to talk about with the sales process. And I need to put a link. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I need to uh, put this link here for y'all to get on it. I'm all discombobulated today. But uh, I will get it together. I will get it together. Let's see. All right. Uh, sign up form. Here we go. I'm just going to put it up there raw and naked. Make sure I do this while I'm thinking about it. Edit video. All right. This from email. So if you are interested in these services, the link is now under the video. All right, so I will get back to, and this is some else too that I knew could happen because I didn't ask her if she needed to talk to someone else. And that's really sales one-on-one because when you're having a conversation, I didn't give her a full pitch. It literally took five minutes of my time. But, you know, once again, you need to like, are all parties who would be making a decision on this, are they involved? Because what will happen is you'll get someone who will be kind of the front person. And apparently the husband is the decision maker. So I was automatically talking to the wrong person. But once again, I just started this. I'm like, ah, OK, so we're going to start. Because what's going to happen? Let's go back to the girl. You talk to 50 girls, you get one. You start to look at all of the work you got to do. And it's like, man, for me to get five girls, I got to talk to 250 girls. I ain't doing that. That's just too much work. And this is what happens with people getting sales. Because in the beginning, to get your five girls and to get your five sales, you're going to have to talk to 250 women. But what's going to happen as you talk to 250, then you're going to like, well, this didn't work. Well, my approach needs to be like this. So the next 200, you'll get five girls with 200. And then the next one, you will get 10 girls and you only talk to 150. Then they get to the point where your game gets so good salesmanship that you're talking to like 20 chicks and getting almost half. But no one wants to go through this hard process of getting rejected, getting rejected, getting rejected, getting rejected, getting rejected, getting rejected. Okay. Getting rejected, getting rejected, <laughs> getting rejected, getting rejected. Yes. That's what it takes because you're not going to build your skill level not doing anything. And to build your skill level, level is going to hurt. It's going to um, it's going to be painful. But you're not going to get that high skill level without going through some pain. Uh, Justin, my buddy who's a car salesman says life is a car sale. Pretty much sales are running parallels all over the place. Uh, Von B, okie dokie, that's why so many offers. Swear the analogs you just helped me connect the dots. Bro, I haven't, <laughs> when I have a disposable 3K, I got you. But once again, like most of the offers are going to fail. Like uh, I, I was sitting here, I was like, okay, let's see what she says. 
And then she just, after talking to my husband, we're not interested in that deal. Uh, it's, and I, I will tell you, part of the deal is it's an older house. It's either paid for or possibly paid for. Their mortgage might be literally 800 bucks a month. So what they're leasing it for is like 3,500. So that's 40K, so like 30 grand a year for doing nothing. Let, let's just say uh, 30 taxes and whatever. That's it's like, it's going to be kind of hard to let go. But one of the things that they've done is they let the property run down. I mean, there's all kinds of issues with it. So they've been playing that slumlord game. And I'm like, if I do this, I'm going to upgrade everything. And a lot of people, because this is something else too. Uh, since I'm now getting in the game, it is very different than when I got my last house because all of these places now come furnished because we have this big movie industry here. So a lot of people are renting out these houses for 8,000, 10, 12,000 fully furnished to people who are going to be here three or four months. Now, that's a good game. Makes money. But here's the thing. The market's being saturated. So what's going to happen? Price is going to come down. And also, um, one of the things that many people don't seem to grasp is everyone's trying to make the most money with the least money spent. That gets to be problematic because um, I also hit her up with before I commit to anything, because once again, need to have an inspection, uh, need to have an appraiser. And when that's my last email, and all of a sudden uh, we ain't interested because they know there's more than likely a lot of damage there and it's going to impact the price that I would offer. So you, you start to see how this game goes. And once again, I just started this this week and I already know how it's going to go. And that's why I got to put so many offers. And th this, this is the cool thing. You put out a bunch of offers, you end up getting exactly what you want. Um, and it's because, you know, once again, I'm putting out these offers. Uh, we're coming on the tail end of the school season. This is why this is why um, there's so much activity between April and now because people got to get these kids set for school and houses sell year round. But for the folks who have kids, they got to do this within a certain amount of months. So that's going to and I also saw that a lot of prices are dropping. There's been reductions and stuff. So once again. You know, I got to be out there every day making offers. So we will see. But that's the, the trajectory that so many people don't want to take. Getting all of those rejections because they're going to hurt. It's like, man, nobody want to take my money. Man, I'm trying to get a deal. And the thing is, you got to approach because I'm going to write a very nice letter. It's like, oh, OK, understood. Thank you for your time. Because. Here's another part about the first offer. If you act like a dick because they said no, that window can open up again, but they ain't going to call you Mr. Dickhead. So I'm everyone. I'm like, hey, thanks for your time. Very nice. Because you never know when there'll be a second offer or a third offer. And see, the thing is, if they come to me again, my offer is going to automatically be lower because they're coming to me. So that's how that's going to be. Um, okay, Christian. So for anyone who's interested in this, because um, we're about two weeks out, like I already got some people for August 7th. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. I'm going to um, clean it up a little more, give you a schedule and all this other stuff, because essentially what is happening is people want to, I'll give you a good example. Uh, this is when I was talking to people on the phone. I had this lady, she was a nice lady. She's like, help me grow my business. What kind of business is it? It's a website. She had put together two of these horrible websites, wasn't making any money, and she didn't have much money. So this was going to be literally a, a demo, tear it down and rebuild it up. 
with someone who was not able to pay me a tenth of what I would have needed to be paid to do that. So that's why you got to put out a lot of offers. That's why you got to qualify people and wake up every day with today is going to be a great day. Program your mind for success because most folks are going to say no when you're putting out these offers. Because see, any offer that I put out, I'm going to win. And a lot of people, they don't want you to win. They want you to take that L, baby. <laughs> they want you to take that L. And more than likely, she possibly Googled me. Because um, once again, I just started this. So what I'm going to have to do is use my initials so we can get into the meat of it. Because if she Googled me, then she knows that I'm a business person. And she knows that I'm not going to be someone to be walked over. So you have that issue, too. Uh, this is one of the reasons that a lot of really successful guys are very, very low key. They don't say anything. Uh, also, I went over there and I'm like, OK, I, I should have took the Audi, the older car, just little stuff that, you know, is coming back because I'm getting into uh, bigger deals. Well, not bigger deals, but getting back into presenting offers and how you present an offer, how you dress. And I mean, I went through that. I think I probably scared it, too, because the way I went through that house, because I know the people who were still occupying it was just like, yeah, he was here. He was looking at the ceilings. And this is what you have to do, because. Don't ever be afraid to walk away from a deal. I don't care how bad you want it, how good it looks, because people will take advantage. And this is and when I say take advantage, I'm not meaning in a bad way. They're going to they're going to stack the deal with the best terms for them. That's what's going to happen. And that's business. So it ain't personal. They just trying to get the best deal for them. I'm trying to get the best deal for me. That, that's just how it is. But it's real interesting how many people um, want you to take that little L and won't think nothing of it. <laughs> won't think nothing of it. Uh, let's see. The more you talk, the less you need to talk. 250 becomes wherever you make it. Repetition. Sure thing, Von B. All right. 89 Dr. Funk. I mean, that's that's one of the things because I got to, you know, do my I'm just a dude look and I got to um, reset some profiles and reset because I, I sent the email from my 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 mac daddy media oh just but once again this is why you got to do this because let's say you're you're trying to meet chicks or you're trying to do deals and you don't do chicks and you don't meet do deals often so every time that you do a presentation like all right because right now i'm like all right i did this wrong i did this wrong i did this wrong i need a better email and i'll handle all that tonight because this is as, as you make offers as you get into the sales then you, your game's going to get better because you're actually doing it. But if you're just kind of on the sidelines and jump into the game every now and then, your game always going to be raggedy. Um, this offer was raggedy. The We didn't get to a real offer because we went to a real estate agent and someone had beat it. So they really, I don't even count that as, quote, an offer because someone had already got it. But now, tonight, I'm going to go home, write up a checkpoint, create a new email address that's not this one and sit down and write a protocol drive the Audi don't wear branded t-shirts I went in there with this shirt uh, I had this this happened the other day I was in IHOP again not the one on Peachtree Industrial and someone googled me and emailed me after taking the picture, it's like, wow, man, you are the dude on YouTube. I don't know who it was. So I got to lower my profile a little bit to do these deals or I'm always going to run into some opposition. But once again, this is how you get better at deals, doing deals. And in the beginning, like I said, like my stuff was raggedy today. And it will probably be raggedy the rest of the week. And I'm just going to have to work out the protocol and get it tight. This is why putting out offers, putting out offers, uh, because uh, 
I've got into August 31st. So the default plan is I'll just move into a three bedroom apartment or something. So that's the default plan. So I don't have to, I don't have to do something that I don't want to do because I've got this thing over here pushing me so I can remain, you know, cause it, let's say it takes me to Christmas to find the right house. Fine. And this is another point. You got to put yourself in the position to win deals. And it ain't a money thing. It's attitude, it's presentation, it's how you talk to people. Because like I said, I made all kinds of stuff. Now, that's a 14-year-old Audi. They ain't going to think that much of it. Diana's gorgeous. Are you sleeping or are you tripping? <laughs> Richard Mayfield, that's true about being too cheap on overhead costs. Virtual office company tried to jip me. It, it's just many of these things that happen. But once again, how do you learn the lay of the game? Play the game. And like I said, you know, the first part of the game you going they're gonna run touchdowns on you. They gonna they gonna light up the scoreboard. They're gonna sink baskets, right? And then you go in at halftime, make adjustments, you come out and you win the game. But you know, you can't get to halftime unless you go through that horrible first quarter. Those first you just can't get to halftime or you you just can't. And this this is where many people they take that first quarter L, they take that second quarter L, and then you know, I'm out. I can't go through this for two more quarters. When it may have not even been like that. Trump's book, The Art of the Deal, talks about that. Why do people say more money, more problems? I, I don't really know because I don't think it's more money, more problems. I think it's an adjustment to how you're living. Uh, pretty bitch 666 I work at Walmart making 11 hour what would your advice be keep your job and start a hustle on the side oh I know I got to reposition myself but once again like I said I got all this stuff going out but go home and audit yourself and this is something else you need to do what did I do wrong today okay like I just went through it. I already, you know, thank you. I did my audit. It's like, oh, I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I know the people who were in the house were talking. I rolled up in a damn near brand new BMW. She and you know, and the way that I hit her, it was a very business like tone. There was no chit chat, so that was another mistake. But once again, learn, live and learn. Because the thing is, how many of you? are so scared to make an offer that you haven't made an offer in the last year because you, you got to make offers to win the game. How many of you are making offers? And what the offer is like, all right, I'm how many offers did I make in this video? I made four. It used to be, I can make four to seven and my sales would go up now because y'all have become more sophisticated. I need to make 15. But once again, this is what you learn from doing. Uh, you're the one that said you changed your age and all that for Bumble for those chicks. Why wouldn't it work the same with houses? Um, I'm not sure. What do you mean? She didn't know how old I am. We had no clue. Unless she went to my life. Uh, I'm, I'm not really understanding your question. So how many of you making offers? This is what I'm talking about. When I ask these real business questions, because th th this is this, you know, let's talk about this. There's money, right? Actually, let's go to this. All right. So y'all hit those super chats. Hit them up. Hit them up. All right. Yes, he is smoking the blunt. So we're going to call this 
the path to money. All right, so we're gonna do this here. This is the money. And this is the last 20%. So you gotta do 80% of the work before you get to the money. Uh, this has been with YouTube. This has been with uh, my businesses. This, this is this is the rule. So most people, let's let's call this ten percent. So ten percent, ninety percent people drop out in this quadrant. The ten percent. So out of, out of those people. So now you've done 50% and 90% of the folks out of this 10% here drop out. Then you go to this quadrant and out of this 50%, you get another 50%. Let's see. Yeah, 90, about 90% 90 of them fall out. So let's say you had, let's say you had 100 people who started here. 100%. Okay. So this is 90 people that fell out. So you had 100 people. So this is 90, and then out of the 50% that was left, you lost five, and then out of the 50% of this, so this leaves like two people. Two people get to the money. So you have 100 people start off, because the 80-20 rule doesn't apply. <clears throat> Most folks are going to fall out of the path to making money because this is hard. And the only way you're going to conquer this is to keep doing this. That's the, the this is the game right here. You got to keep selling and making offers in this zone where there is no money there's no money in this zone the 80 percent zone <laughs> there's no money there you only get to the money when you get if you're in at this last 20 percent because this is where deals are signed checks are exchanged this is where you get to it but you got to do all of this before you get to that and that's why where most people just fall apart. And that's with money, that's with checks, that that that's just everything. And people just kind of flake out. Archangel, I'm going to say that my offer scared me when I make them. I have an offer. I have to become so outrageous that it's, drunk, that it's drawn my data points off. That's because I'm looking for higher-end clients. You keep doing that, you're going to get those higher-end clients. In the beginning, it's going to be rocky. It's going to be kind of crazy. It's going to be hard. But you will get there. Kirk Johnson, I made an offer, got a house for 16K, needs a lot of work, but that's what I do. I mean, that was the story of my storage auction success. I bought so many, they used to call me a trash man. I bought so many bad units, but proportionally, if I spend 10 bucks on a bad unit, I was going to make 300, 400 minimum up to sometimes several thousand.
Hey, now, Dr. Funk, Glenn, I did my baseline budget audit and I'm breaking even. What would you suggest to pay off credit card debt? I have a full time. You're breaking even on your side hustle? You're making no profit? What are you doing? You might need to replace all oh, the full time job income is paying for everything. So that's paying for the side hustle and that's paying for everything. Yeah, because this is where most people fall out. Like, you know, what you said, Von B, it's like, why so many offers? The average person doesn't have a concept of what really is required to make money. They just kind of see the 20%. Like, they see the house, they see the car, they see the money, they see the, the diamond rings and all this. But I guarantee you, unless they're a criminal, and even criminals work hard. I'm not doing that to advocate crime, but successful criminals work their asses off. They really do. But most people think that you could just kind of sprinkle some hustle dust on it and the money comes, and it don't work like that. And that's why I'm you know, illustrating to you how many people who are chasing money fall out the funnel that when you get to that last 20%, you don't have that much competition. You, you just don't. And that's why, you know, with YouTube, Facebook, a lot of people are putting up stuff and it's like so much competition. How many of them are going to stick with it till they get to the money? That's the people who stick with. It. Now, that's going to be your competition. Those folks. But it ain't going to be that many. It's just not. So. All right, he didn't say anything what his side hustle was. All right, I guess he's thinking about it. But if you want to enhance your business, if you really want to learn how to sell, these are going to be like the $3,000 model is going to be short term. You know, we're not going to spend months and months. I'm going to give you the game, what you need to get started and start making some money. Uh, you know, that's fun. My nine to five is paying for my household expenses and credit card debt. My side. Oh, OK. Keep doing that, man. You're doing well. Because the thing is, you got to save money till you get to like 10 to 15, maybe 20 K. Then that's going to give you the ability to do stuff that people who are flipping phones who can't do. Once you get to the point where you can let money sit for a little while and you're not paying interest on it or you have all this other stuff, then um, that's cool. But anyone that is interested in the coaching, do this. Uh, I will start sending out emails. Today's Tuesday, probably this weekend. Go below. Get on that list. This Rough the Money Consultant Services list. Read through everything. If you have any questions, um, hold them. I'll do another stream. We can talk about it. I uh, plan on doing a lot of streams on Disruptive Mail and Every Man is a Millionaire. Plus, I'm going to do some other stuff. So with that, I'll see you guys later. You have a great day. And remember, the more offers you make, the greater your chance of success. The fewer offers you make, the greater your chance of doom and disaster. Because you're not your numbers. You're not working with enough numbers. I remember, and I think it was a real estate guy, he said every house he puts an offer on, he looks at 100. That's his number. He looks at 100 because you got to find the right deal to make the numbers work. So with that, I'll see you guys later. You have a great day. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share this video.